Welcome back, surf fans. This is the Hawaiian Pro Round 3 Heat 8. John John Florence, current world champion Sebastian Dietz, Dion Atkinson, and Tori Meister in the lineup. Chris Cote here with Ross Williams, usually in a yellow jersey on the CT, correct? Uh, yeah, you know what? It's just a little tribute to uh, the Jeep leader and our champion. He's been wearing the yellow jersey for uh, nearly half the year. Uh, so it is a little tribute there. You're going to see yellow next to his name, but of course, he is donning the red jersey. And wow, what a great opener for John. Nice way to settle the nerves, if he does have any nerves, that is, Chris. And look at that, pressing on that inside rail. And that's what's been so impressive with uh, John John this year. A huge improvement from last year. Starting his heats, just adding a little bit of game. You know, he's been guilty of free surfing in heats because he's a, just a surf turkey. He loves it, he can't hold back. But this year, uh, you know, a big reason why he's won the world title is he kind of has a tempo now in heats. He starts, he has a medium, you know, middle road to the heat and he finishes it. So he kind of tells a story. So it's cool to see a very similar field. Sebastian Zietz, AKA Seabass, sitting at 11th on the championship tour. He's got that winning feeling from the third at the... Whoa, are Hello. you kidding me? Dion Atkinson. Look down for one second, you look back up, he's upside down. Basically doing a front side inverted reverse, grabbing that rail and I, I didn't know he had it in him, but check yeah. this out, Ross. A move kind of made famous by Andy Irons, then uh, Josh Kerr definitely took it into uh, his repertoire. Heard some people call the name it a club sandwich, but anyways, uh, that was crazy. Dion just <laughs> threw a little curveball at us. Wow, we were expecting that kind of surfing from this guy, John John Florence. Let's see what the judges think. As John John makes his way, bam, to that inside section, and right behind him, Sebastian Zietz gets on the open face. Nice, clean-looking wave for Seabass. As he finishes it off with a nice. Tail sliding snap opening wave for John John Florence an 8-4-3. A 1.33. So there's your answer. And I'm kind of with the judges. Uh, he didn't completely ride out in front of the whitewash. He made about 75% of it. And Seabass, uh, you know, I'm impressed with Sebastian Zietz here. You know, he's had an incredible year. Obviously getting a CT win as we see John's version of a backup score, Chris. Nice flow despite that wave settling down and being kind of fat and lumpy. He's keeping some speed up and a nice aggressive power move there. Nice little layback snap for John to finish up. So, Got two events left on the qualifying series, one event left on the championship tour. Both of those, you're out of the uh, cut line right now. Yep. What's the plan? What do you got to do? Have you looked at it? Just win every event. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Uh, no, nah, I haven't. I, you stress yourself out when you look. So um, I'm just taking heat by heat. I'm just going to give it my all and hope for the best. Well, there you have it. You took this heat win. Big win for you. Into the round of 32. Congratulations. And Jack Freestone. I mean, there's a reason he's on the championship tour. Absolutely one of the best surfers on the planet. So is this guy, Sebastian Zietz. Torquing it, Ross. Unbelievable flow on this wave from Sebastian Zietz. You know, I, I, really, one of the the most, uh, I would say, well-surfed waves I've seen today. Uh, you know, I don't think he had a crazy punctuation move on this wave. Uh, so I don't think the score is going to go crazy to the nines, but uh, I would definitely hope it goes to at least excellent because uh, it looked like he was being towed along by a jet ski. He had perfect flow and speed. And he is your world champion, so he'll be fully focused on the triple crown now. And here goes Tori Meister. Straight up into the lip. A foam climb goes awry. Tori Meister has been a stand out in past bands triple crowns to i mean it, it it could work at sunset if sunset's not like giant it could like those guys are riding pretty small boards like he'll ride a six eight or something at sunset so if you could switch that down to maybe a six four that just paddles just as good but it's just there's no like super advantage to it it's just something different and a different feel and and maybe it gives a little like kind of a fresh take on something love your work john pezel thanks for taking the time to speak with us and uh, congratulations on having a champ on your boards thank you back up you guys Thank you, Pete. We'll get back to more of uh, John Pizel as we see Tori Meister going to the air. And there's John John Florence on that Pizel surfboard's bastard model. Big tail jam 
straight up the lip, looking so fired up. I actually got the chance to borrow a Pizel for this season. Uh, and he really has, in the last five years or so, refined his skills. Uh, they've gotten better and better. And a lot of it has to do with this kid right here, John John Florence, uh, giving him the ultimate feedback. In general, you're a professional surfer, they're going to ride low volume surfboards. But your average weekend warrior, they need a little more foam. Well, this is live action. John John Florence, second fall in a row, which is rare. Not rare to see him blasting a frontside air like that. Not feeling super stressed out about these events. Obviously, he would just love another Vance Triple Crown Championship. But I think he's feeling confident with the current scores he has. It's Tori Meister now gets to work. And Tori's got a little bit of a hill to climb. He needs a 927. Well, Dion Atkinson is currently comboed. We all know what he can do in the air. He can, you know, do the, some of the biggest tail wafts in the business. But he's got a beautiful carve on him. Okay, a turtle grabbed his leash right there. Weird fall. Here we go. Sebastian Zietz, powerful surfer from Kauai. He uh, went from having his worst year on tour to his best year on tour at the Billabong Pipe Masters. Um, this wave right here possibly could improve on his 4.5. Yeah, beautiful opening cutback, but you know if you get a wave really deep here, um, it does hit go through that fat spot, and that's what happens. So you got iced out right there. He you know, wanted to continue to tag that lip. Uh, but he's gonna, I think he'll be continuing to look for a backup score. And during that recap, John, just airing the fins out, Chris, as you do when you have an, an 8.43 and a 7.8, you just go ahead and free surf. Yeah, yeah congratulations exactly. to you two. That is, they are an awesome couple. And we're, she's actually gonna be coming over here for uh, Maui and most likely the uh, Bilbo Pike Masters. We can congratulate her in person, but right now, it's business. The honeymoon is not on yet. Sebastian Zietz has work to do right there, flaring out, trying to still replace that 4.5. Here we have a set coming through. Dion Atkinson, who's got two low scores, has priority. Here's where he has the opportunity to get back in this somehow. Here we go, he's got some speed. Nice snap, setting it up to this inside section, back on the open face. Not a lot of opportunity. It was a nice looking wave, more on the fun side than the real critical side, but Corey Meister now throwing the tail out into the barrel, which would have been a pretty wild combo, but unfortunately it goes down. Started it, but with only a minute and 42 to go, it's really a two-man show at this point. Well, the time is now. These guys needed to get into this heat right here on this set. Beautiful style, always. We always mention his style, Dion Atkinson. Uh, great with the flow, but just a couple of cutbacks there. Um, that should be his best score, though. He'll have a fighting chance. And speaking of fighting chance, Tori needed to get busy right now, too. He needed a complete, a solid score. You know, obviously way more repful, way more friendly. You know, surfers have been given the opportunity to bust the fins loose a little bit more today. John John Florence. That looked like a pretty easy heat from him. And let's be honest, he got two giant scores right off the get-go. His first three waves were in that keeper range. He moves through your current champion. Looks like he is determined to get yet another Vans Triple Crown of Surfing title under his belt.